how far it is relevant to the current needs. So then you have to uh, ask series of questions you might ask, saying that why the experiment is being conducted, justify the need for the proposed research, what makes your research significant, is the study to confirm, review, extend the previous findings which are already seen in your literature, what innovations the study is about it, what are the practical implications and methodological advances the study is proposing it. So these things you should write it. Don't write the review of literature. Many people write the review of literature in the place of significance <coughs> study, they make a mistake. So you are, should be very well defined justification of doing the study. Now, summarizing the whole thing, like are in shape, literature review should be able to give rise to the topic and the research question, and then you are having the hypothesis, aims and objectives, medicine methods, treatment study, all of them will be based upon the central one, should be able to answer what is the rationale of the study, what is the significance, what is the need for the study. Then the very university ask for it. Why do you want to do this experiment? Oh, only for my degree. That is not correct one. Degree is, of course, you have to get the degree. But there should be some benefit to the university, to the science also. That is also very important. The final protocol looks like this way. We'll have a title. Introduction contains the background information, short review of the literature, research question, hypothesis, then object is one, the need for the study, literature review, long one you write it, methodology, study design, static analysis, work schedule, how you can finish in about 12 months, one year study, references. Now summarizing the whole thing, so I hope I'm on time. The fundamental principles of scientific research are the formulation of the problem, that is the problem finding is an umbrella concept, the development of the study protocol, a research plan, and the description of what, why, and how. There's three you must answer in your protocol. As a protocol, it is a search and the review, study designs, statistical aspects, result analysis, data interpretation. How do you do it? All these things are proposed. Our initial vision for a study largely shapes our actions, approaches, analysis methods, interpretations, and societal impact. That is the need for the study. That is the one which you should do it. Ultimately, the study should be suitable for publication. Whatever you do, you can always think about it that my study should be able to be publishable. That is going, not going to remain only as a decorative piece in the library shelf, as thesis. No, it has to find some moksha, that is, in terms of final goal, the publication. The scientific value or merit of published article based upon its merits, how far it is significant, how much it sounds, whether it is worthwhile or not investigated. The scientific enterprise requires a lot of thinking and imagination before one puts ink on the paper. So the rest of the story is you have to intelligence, creativity, thinking are already built up in your mind. Your, everybody has got this one, but you require a motivation from your guide, from your surroundings, from your friends, and as apply your skills and environment, person, personality, trait of the perseverance, and learning strategies very important. Perspiration, hard work, for 12 hours work, persistence, you must persist in your work. Then only succeed. That is the predicted growth in research achievement over the time. The project should be written with the ink of creativity, intelligence, and hard work. So, uh, thank you very much for listening to my short talk. These are all explained in our, our first book, which I published in 2010. This book, Dr. Balkumar has got a copy of this one. And the second book, which published last year, again, your library carries this book, The Basic and Clinical Research Scientific Publishing, where you are delved into all this, whatever is spoke, plus a lot of research, how do you do it, how do you come up with this protocol, writing, the practical aspects have been delved into this book both the books actually, then the final aspect about publication. The whole thing is given. Thank you so much for your attention and I hope you were able to understand uh, the small pep talk what I have given about the research protocol. Thanks. Thanks Dr. Balkumar. Thank you very much sir. On behalf of Padiyar uh, Maniyamai Institute of Science and Technology, Dean to University, we would like to convey our sincere uh, gratitude uh, to you for your uh, precious time in uh, structuring 
uh, and informing us how to write a research protocol. Uh, really, your lecture was uh, informative and uh, highly scintillating, and your point that the research should not only include the problem identification, but it should also include the problem solving. So we need to find out uh, ways to solve a problem that is the primary component of the research rather than finding a research problem. Of course, that is certainly very important to find a research problem, but we need to find the right way to solve a problem that makes a research complete. That point is very well uh, received, sir. Uh, really, we are very grateful to you because you are delivering the lecture, I think, at night at 12.30, sir. What is the time uh, in years? What is the time? Uh, 12, 12 past midnight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that shows your uh, dedication and uh, commitment uh, towards the research, sir. Uh, really, um, uh, our institution is uh, very much grateful to you. And your point uh, that smart C, uh, specific, measurable, achievable, uh, realistic, and time bound. So we used to convey to students smart, but not smart C. So C you have included that is challenging. You yourself, your research should be challenging. That should solve a great problem. That makes a complete picture. So we all enjoyed your lecture, sir. And uh, again, we are very much grateful to you for your time, for your dedication, and the commitment towards research. And we would like to welcome you uh, to appear in our university offline in the month of January 2025. And uh, please prepare and uh, spend a day for with us at the Kadiyar Maniyama Institute of Science and Technology. I hope you will uh, um, accept our invitation now itself. Now, uh, if any question uh, you might have uh, in your mind to be addressed by Professor Dr. Jagdish, uh, a senior expert pharmacologist. Uh, he will be available to address your question. Any of the uh, audience, if you have a question, yes, please. We have one or two minutes. Any question, please.